Hey guys, good morning. I am parked, almost ready to go inside to work. And it's the start of a brand new week. It's Monday and I'm really feeling it today. I am exhausted. I didn't sleep that much last night, but I have used this trick for a while now where you tell yourself you're awake and I feel like that does work. Oh, there's a bug on my car. Gross. Um, and so I'm just telling myself I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, and hopefully um, I'll be okay throughout the day. I think so. I've already started drinking my coffee and I thought I would vlog this week. It's a short week for me anyway, uh, in terms of work. I have off on Wednesday for Yom Kippur and then I took off Thursday because I have to take my grandmother to a couple doctor's appointments. Her eyes have to be dilated so she kind of needs somebody with her. And I don't like to take off that much just because I get so many days off during the year. Uh, but trying to reschedule her doctor's appointments with like my days off just wasn't worth the hassle So I'm just gonna take the day normally my aunt takes her to the doctor's appointments throughout the year But she herself had a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm gonna go inside because it's about that time and I'll try to film some interesting stuff that happens throughout the week and I'll see you guys soon <laughs> So I made it home. It's around 4.15. I've been home for a while now. Or not a while, but 20 to 30 minutes. And I just was sitting here. Um, I started feeling really tired around 1 p.m. I felt the energy leaving my body. I'm going to cook dinner very soon because I just want to get that over with. Normally I would wait a little bit, but I just want to cook it. And... It's going to be a HelloFresh meal, which that my my friends, I forgot to skip. So I was charged over a hundred and something dollars. The first two deliveries were half price because I took advantage of the coupon. And so I got charged that. And then I couldn't even pick the meals because they just randomly always pick for you. I was so frustrated with the whole thing. I skipped the next few weeks. I'm gonna cook HelloFresh this week. I tried to contact them and they were like, there's nothing we can do, it's too late, and I get it. But also, if it's in pre-shipment, I don't know, I didn't understand why I couldn't pick the meals. So that was a real bummer and a lesson to me and a lesson to you. Just, if you're not interested in HelloFresh, just cancel the day. Let's just skip the day you're supposed to skip and make sure you have skipped. Okay, I'm gonna get started on the things that I need to do and I will definitely make sure to show you what my HelloFresh looks like. It's gonna be a chicken parmesan pasta dish. I just finished uh, cleaning up and making the dinner or the other way around. I made the dinner and <laughs> cleaned up. It's around 5.55 and this is tonight's dinner. It's the Hall of Fame Parmesan Crusted Chicken with Creamy Lemon Tomato Spaghetti. And there's my chicken. And there's my pasta and I did add the bigger tomatoes just because I wanted to use this one the that tomato up it was getting old and then I thought I would share with you what my grandmother's portion looks like it's gonna look a little different so here it is I gave her a salad this meal did not come with a vegetable and I wanted to have a little side salad for her um, so the whenever a recipe not even HelloFresh I cut up thin pastas because she tends to choke on them or something happens when she eats thin pasta so I cut it up I gave her a whole chicken breast and I don't add tomatoes because her diet um, she is not allowed to have three things tomatoes bananas and oranges and those are like her favorite things and it was so sad when she couldn't eat it anymore it's just too high in potassium for her uh, so that's why hers looks a little bit different and then I'm gonna turn around just so I can talk a little bit more about HelloFresh Okay, I really do like HelloFresh. It's more annoyed with myself, I think, than anything because I thought I had skipped the meals, but I do enjoy it. I just want to point out a couple of things. One, you still clean up the same. It's still a ton of pans, a ton of small dishes, big dishes, because you need to, um, it's a lot of prep work and I just, Wash, washed a bunch of things so that's still the same I don't want people I, cause I think I thought in my mind that it would be less cleanup but it's not 
you have to prepare everything and chop up everything the other thing is you don't always get a side with your meal and for me I like to have a veggie with my meal so that's just something to think about when you're selecting meals is whether your thing is has a side a vegetable or not and then the other thing that I love is the directions that they give they are very good about that how much you need what you should be doing at one at every point of the cooking process the only thing with this recipe though and I it's only happened to me this once is there's a part where they say to cook the garlic in the butter but the pan is too hot I burnt the garlic twice and I was so upset because I love garlic and seeing those garlics burn made me so sad uh, so I wanted to just point out those few things and hopefully everybody likes this dinner I don't know the chicken seems a little dry but that's just I would rather overcook chicken than undercook it and I'm scared to death about undercooking chicken so we'll have to deal with it but I think it's okay we have leftover Peruvian from yesterday so I think we should be okay good morning it's Tuesday October 7th and I'm just finishing up my makeup there was a ton of traffic this morning it was bad but I got off so it wasn't as bad as that if I stayed on the expressway usually I stay on the expressway uh, but I decided to get off and it was a good choice last week when I got off it was a terrible choice but today was good I'm finishing up my makeup my eyebrows look really wow super done but in real life they look normal I feel like so um, my teacher she is going to a PD this morning uh, I don't know if many of you know the ruler approach but she's learning about that and I'm gonna set up the classroom so I might be able to take a video of that and tomorrow I have off so it's a good day today I mean every day is a good day but when you have, when you know you have the day off the next day it's awesome okay so I came in I um, we had we started easel yesterday so I just put all the paintings together and we'll actually hang them up around the classroom and um, display them and it looks really cute once we start doing that it makes the classroom look more uh, like you know kid decorations so I set the ugh, I can't talk this morning I put the choices out this morning that one is mix and match bears so you have to find two of the same bears and then there is bristle blocks and dinosaurs and then here is art and I just filled up water for the park and then I thought I would do outfit of the day I forgot to do it yesterday but if I remember I'll do it in the mornings okay I'm gonna do this real quick so I have this shirt from Macy Style & Co jeans are I believe Style & Co as well from Macy's and my ultra boost sneakers my hoodie and you already saw my face and I parted my hair down the middle I come into the office most mornings and get my coffee I leave my lunch here and my car keys this is so sad nobody cleaned the coffee pot so it's still cold look how cute where are the gummy bears it looks like I'm hiding and I am they set this up this morning that is from my teacher, which I didn't think they were. <sighs> She's nice, but pre-K is hard for people who don't normally work with pre-K kids. That's all I'll say. Yippee! Italy thing! Good, said the farmer. You say I just got home and it's about 3.40. I'm about to go inside. Traffic was, it was okay. It's been worse, but it's not been that great, especially for me leaving a little bit early. And I totally forgot to share with you my lunch. I opened the bag and I was like, what is this? In my mind, I thought I picked a bowl, but I opened it and it was a burrito. I normally don't eat burrito because it's extra carbs and it's already bad enough it's fried fish with rice and beans and veggies so I just it was delicious I ate it usually I don't eat the whole thing but this time I did and it was very very good we're we were gonna go out to dinner tonight but we're not so that's kind of why I got 
lunch out. I did bring lunch, but I just didn't care for it. So I, I just ordered lunch from that Mexican place. And I want to show you, I don't know if it's a thing where I'm getting a sign. I, it's definitely a sign that I'm getting older. I feel like, because normally I wouldn't care, but I put this shirt on this morning and I'm like, wow, it's really wrinkled like down here in the middle mostly. So I think I'm gonna have to start ironing these types of shirts. I have a few of these kinds of shirts from Old Navy that are button downs and they get wrinkled super easily or I'm just not gonna buy stuff like this anymore or just buy things that look okay wrinkled. Because you know, there's some shirts that look okay wrinkled like linen shirts I feel like look okay. This one is not one of them. And I just grabbed this shirt on the way out and I changed in the car. So yeah, sign that I'm getting older. Okay, I'm gonna go inside now. I just finished cooking this dinner from HelloFresh. It's the honey butter barbecue pork cutlets with mashed sweet potatoes and lemony green beans. And I had a taste of it, so good. So here are the mashed sweet potatoes. Just boil the sweet potatoes and then add a little butter and sour cream. Here are the beans and these are so good if i feel like if you add a lemon zest to anything it's delicious so there's lemon zest salt and pepper and lemon juice in there and of course butter and then here are the pork cutlets they're pretty thin so they didn't take long to cook i made a mistake so you see on top of here it's supposed to be honey butter but i oh i put the butter in the microwave for too long i just i didn't they said to add more butter but i wasn't going to so i just poured it over and you could still really taste the honey and the butter in the pork cutlets because i'm busy tomorrow um i'm not sure what time i'm gonna be home i'm gonna make this as well and people can choose which one they want to eat they could have both tonight or they could a little bit of both tonight or they could have one tonight and then one tomorrow and i'll show you what this one ends up looking like after i'm done cooking it here is dinner number two, and it is pineapple poblano beef taco, sorry for the weird lighting, with lime crema, lime, lime crema and cilantro, and that's what it's supposed to look like. I'm not making the tacos. I made two for my grandmother, uh, which required a little bit of work because this is kind of spicy, and I just cooked her beef um without some of the spice i tried the spice and it was too spicy and they had poblano peppers in here and i think that's too spicy for her so i just kind of worked around it so they give you the soft tacos here is the crema which i love it's so good and it's really just sour cream and lime so i'll make that another time myself but that's the cool thing about hello fresh is i'm definitely going to take some of these recipes and um I don't have to order it from HelloFresh. I could just get the ingredients on my own. Here is the pineapple salsa with tomatoes and onions and cilantro, which I normally don't like cilantro, but with other flavors like this, I feel like it's really good. And then here is the ground beef with the poblano peppers, uh, some of the spices, and onions. And there's cilantro if people want extra. And so that's the dinner. I know it looks crazy on this table, but there's two dinners here. People can choose what they want. They could have both. They could have just have one. And that way, dinner is made for today and tomorrow. And that's all, folks. We decided to come to the city today, Wednesday, on I Have Off for Yom Kippur. Do you hear this? That is literally how loud it is. It's just raining so hard. <laughs> it's supposed to rain all day. But that's okay, less people maybe. And the only thing is, I don't mind the rain. The only thing is I'm wearing my sneakers, which was a poor choice. I might have to get rain boots. People taking turns. Yeah. 
Okay, got pizza for, oh, as a snack from that Prince Street pizza. It's pretty popular. The line sometimes goes all the way around to the corner there. This is the Elizabeth Street Garden, but it's closed. See, it's locked. Or is it locked? <laughs> oh, it is locked. But it looks so cool. But for some reason, it's closed. Looking at the dessert menu, this place was so good. Oh, I forgot to take video of the food. Oh, oh. well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Good. Take a word for good. it. Now we're deciding if we want to get dessert. This is the Thai tea creme brulee. Can you do the honor, Steve, of breaking it? Oh, that was so sad. No crunch. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in the bathroom of the restaurant. It looks like I stepped into the jungle. I've been, I've, I meant to take pictures of all the bathrooms I've been in today because they were all awesome. Just the color and the, the whole like choice of metals and woods and just really nice bathrooms. I think I found hell, it's this train station. It is boiling hot in here, like almost you can't breathe. This is the 34th train, sta train station, Herald Square. Sorry, the train, another train is coming. We're waiting for the end to take go back to Brooklyn. It's supposed to be here in, I don't know, five minutes or less, but it is so hot down here. I would, I want, I already unzipped my sweatshirt and my raincoat, um, and I'm seriously sweating. It's bad. I wonder how it is in the summertime because it's, it's fall right now and it's a true fall day. Like, the highest it hit was maybe 58 and it was raining so it's really really hot I don't think I mentioned what day it is it is Thursday it's around 12 and I am eating lunch right now I did take my grandmother to her eye doctor's appointment I didn't need to go apparently something was lost in translation her eyes were not dilated and she really could have gone by herself but it's a day off I'm gonna enjoy it I'm gonna finish my lunch and who knows what the day's gonna bring. So that's going right, uh, That's what's going on right now. And then tomorrow, one more day of work, and then the weekend, baby, and then Monday off. So it's got. It's been like crazy the past couple of weeks in a good way. This dog is acting really weird today. I think because it's a super windy day. Don't know if you could see the leaves or the trees are moving. It's super windy, and she gets kind of weirded out. But my Imperfect Produce box came, and there's, I'm not, not going to do a separate haul, but look what I, they were selling in there. Nice, and this is pretty hefty, and this was around, I think, $7.99, so I thought that was something cool to try from there. We love antipasto. Uh, eggs and the milk, and this is also something brand new. Brown, brown rice organic rice cakes. Thought we would try that. Needed some onions really bad, so got those. And um, cabbage, green beans, and again with this one pound carrot that's so big. Don't know what's wrong with these, but they taste pretty good, so probably nothing. Cucumber, and I think I might have an orange right now. I don't know. I feel like an orange. So, oh, it's a blood orange. Yes. Okay, I'm going to cut that open and show you what it looks like. This is what the blood orange looks like. And I feel like they're supposed to be a little bit more red. But I thought I would show you. And let me smell. It smells pretty good. Hopefully it tastes good. But they're really pretty. This is the last HelloFresh for the week. It's the sweet and smoky pork tenderloin with apple, carrot, slaw, mashed potatoes, and cherry sauce. And look how cute. A little Bon Maman Cherry Reserve. Adorable. 
So here is the pork tenderloin that's smoked. I feel like it was a little bit too spicy for my grandmother. So as per usual, let me just show you hers. I did separate without uh, putting the spice rub. And then this is the slaw. And I did, so I like... I wanted my car I wanted my apples to be a little bit smaller, so I julienned them. And then here are the mashed potatoes, pretty regular mashed potatoes, and I tasted it and it tastes amazing. Oh, and the cherry sauce is right here. And you pour that you put that over the pork. It is Friday. I totally forgot to check in this morning. It's already the day is over. I just parked and it took me about 45 minutes to get home. Even though I left early, I was able to leave a little bit earlier today because my teacher had left early and I just, usually I like to stick around for a little bit and chit chat and do a few things before I go home, but I just did everything really quickly and I left early. So considering I left early, it took me 45 minutes to get home, a little bit more than that. If I had left, five, 10, 15 minutes later, I would have gotten stuck in traffic, like really bad traffic. There was a lot of traffic right now, but it wasn't as, it wouldn't have been as bad as if I had left later. So I'm going to take it as a win. It's the beginning of a long weekend. And I already, I know I had a short week already, but I'm pretty excited. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week vlog. I'll try to do one where it's kind of more typical of my schedule. This week was a little bit off because of the day, days off that I took and um, just a few weird things going on at school. So I'll try to do a more in-depth day in the life, but it's so hard not to... I'm not really comfortable... I will never show the children, right? But there's their artwork with their names and family pictures and it's so hard to get a clip of them so you'll see clips that I've done with just their feet and stuff I'm not sure how much you're getting out of that but um if I will probably do another day in the life since people seem to be interested and I love that stuff too those are probably my top videos to watch are vlogs of people and their jobs so um more will be coming on that and I hope you guys have a great weekend not sure when this is gonna go up but it it should go up if I put it together soon it just depends on like if I feel like doing it or not unfortunately and I'm a pretty pretty lazy person so <laughs> with that I'll see you bye